In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you play as a legendary warrior following mythic heroes like Heracles and Perseus. It's fitting considering that in ancient Greek society, myths played a powerful role and often influenced real life and vice versa. A perfect example of this is on the island of Crete in the Masara and Pefka regions, where you may have noticed they're somewhat fond of bulls, more specifically, minotaurs. But where exactly did this iconography come from, and why is it primarily concentrated in Crete? As it turns out, Greece has a long history before the classical period of Cassandra and Alexios, and many of the myths popularized during their time have roots in Greece's Bronze Age. When it comes to the Minotaur, look no further than the Palace of Knossos just south of Heraklion. The palace dates back to around 1700 BCE, meaning that by the time Cassandra and Alexios visit it, the ruins are already over 1300 years old. Discovered by archaeologist Sir Arthur Evans and his team in the 20th century, the site was believed to be the palace of the mythical King Minos. Evans decided to name the Bronze Age civilization after the fabled king and dubbed the people as the Minoans. But how exactly did Evans link King Minos to the Palace of Knossos? Well, as the myth goes, Minos rules the island of Crete. After angering Poseidon, Minos' wife gave birth to a half-man, half-bull known as the Minotaur. With the help of the architect Daedalus, Minos constructed a labyrinth to house the beast and used it to punish his enemies until an Athenian named Theseus came to slay the creature. When Evans uncovered Knossos, he and his team discovered a massive amount of bull iconography. You can find examples of this all over the regions of Masara and Pefka. Believed to represent bull horns, the ornamental decoration on top of the building became known as the Horns of Consecration. Evans uncovered the famous bull leaping fresco, which led him and many others to believe that Minoans clearly incorporated bulls into some sort of dangerous ritual. You can find reproductions of this fresco in Minoan ruins all over Odyssey's Greece. Knossos, especially in its ruined state, was not easy to navigate. In fact, it was rather maze-like. Couple this with a dangerous bull-leaping ritual, and suddenly the myth of King Minos condemning people to death by feeding them to a minotaur hidden inside of a labyrinth begins to take shape. With more than 1,300 years separating the Minoans from Cassandra and Alexios, it's easy to see how the myth of the minotaur could seep into their culture, become twisted, and maybe even take physical form. Visit Knossos today and you'll be greeted by a network of ruins. What remains standing was rebuilt by Evans and his team. As a civilization that precedes classical Greece by more than a thousand years, the Minoans were incredibly advanced as the Palace of Knossos featured buildings four stories tall with built-in plumbing and rudimentary climate control. Minoan ruins are easy to spot in-game thanks to their unique columns which were actually thinner at the base. Made of wood, no original columns survive to this day. Much of what we know of the Minoans was learned by studying what they left behind, since archaeologists are unable to read their language. Frescoes like these are all that archaeologists have left to decipher, and can be seen in various underground ruins in-game. Given that they were the only form of communication we're able to interpret from the Minoans, they provide insight into Minoan culture, ritual, and clothing. Like the legendary Theseus, you'll have the opportunity to explore the labyrinth and slay the mythical Minotaur. But remember, like nearly all myths, the Minotaur is grounded in the reality of the real-life Minoan civilization. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, available now.